Welcome back everybody to another All Things Nerd video. As always, my name is Nathan, and tonight we are going to continue exploring the world of Azeroth and World of Warcraft in our series of exploring the world of Azeroth. <laughs> Today is going to bring us in the dungeon of End Time, uh, and we're going to be taking a look around the map and see some interesting stuff that we can find. Um, I love this shot on the screen that I have with Deathwing just impaled on the tower of Wimworst and and uh, yeah, it's just it's really cool to see kind of like an apocalyptic end time after the hour of twilight thing going on here. And so I always thought this was a really cool dungeon, but yeah, let's go take a look. Now I I've already glitched out of the dungeon. It wasn't hard at all. Um, when you actually first come into the dungeon right up here, you're going to have an invisible wall. Just metamorphosis out and boom you'll be here on the ground so let's go take a look into the dungeon a little closer now there are different types uh different parts of the map that you can actually get to um obviously there's the different ruby sanctuaries and all that that you can run into um but it's really cool to see like how easy it is to get out of here now, i wanted to go see if we can get a really up close view of this Deathwing on top of the tower. That's just really cool to see. Oh, we don't want to see the mount, but that's not what we want to see. Oh, we explored. Okay. Interesting. So we actually discovered something. I don't know what we dis discovered, but let's go take a look. Can we actually go in here? Ah, we can. All right. Let's go take a look. So here's Wormrose Temple. Um, it's cool that we can actually go in here. I didn't think for a moment this would be actually accurate to go in here and check it out. Everything is about the same. You don't see anything really much different. Um, now, the, the thing is, I don't know if we can get on top of the tower and actually see Deathwing up close. I'm assuming that this is probably as far as we're going to get with seeing the Deathwing model. Um, man, he is so big. Like It's cool to see how big in game he is compared to the rest of the world um and just to see like how he compared to all the other dragons now the only other bigger dragon of course is galagrand right he was the biggest dragon uh and he massive in scale uh if you guys haven't played the um i don't remember what that dungeon's called in the new dragonflight expansion um that's really kind of neat but oh here we go we we Found another place here so we keep discovering places man that is such a cool oh look at he has a i didn't notice that he actually has lava spilling out of his mouth that is such a cool shot right there i'd make a cool um wallpaper oh there goes the mount butt again we don't want to see that sorry we didn't come for the mount butt all right let's keep exploring this area and let's take a look I remember in this dungeon, uh, you actually come and uh, fight the different. Uh, you fight in the different uh, dragon shires, and uh, each one has its own boss and all that. So it's cool to see the uh, see that you can get out. I don't think you can normally get out of this. So oh, here we go. Here's the edge of the map already. Let's go take a look. Now, if I remember correctly, this is actually where you spawn in uh, the Dragon Soul uh, raid, right? So, what's it called? The Dragon Soul? Yeah, the Dragon Soul. Uh, and this is where you spawn. Oh, here we go. Here goes the edge. Oh, they do have water here still. Now, that is cool. Ooh, can we get over there? Wow, so they did keep a lot of the map still. Here goes the Emerald Dragonshire. Ah, this is so cool. I'm sorry, but we have to jump off. 
We have to go see what's down here. So normally you're not supposed to be out here, right? This is the outside of the map. Um, unfortunately, I keep forgetting to bring my um, bring my mount uh, gear so I can walk across the water. So I'm just going to use some of my uh, underwater mount here to get across. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I thought the Azure Water Strider was supposed to automatically walk on water. But I... Why isn't that? I, I thought that that came with the mount. So may, maybe I was wrong. But, oh man, this is cool. See all the shipwreck over here that's going on. We're going to switch to our prowler because it's so much easier. And it just sounds so much nicer when it's running around. This is cool. You can see the shipwreck. Let's go take a look at, uh, as you can see, we are officially out of the bounds here. And I believe this is Hearth Glen, right? Or new Hearth Glen in, uh, Wrath of the Lich King. Are these buildings accessible? They are. Oh man, so this is just like the building that's in uh, the Northshire Abbey, the uh, human starting place, where you go find the, uh, the the priest dude up here and you give him the, uh, the quest. This is cool. But what's funny is you never would think that you're actually in this dungeon if you're actually in here. Oh, here we go. We can go outside the backside. Ah, keep dismounting. <laughs> oh, here we go. so cool uh i love that they keep so much detail in these maps that you're normally not supposed to see it's so cool to see everything oh we got to go up to the spooky house now this is technically supposed to be in um uh in northern right so this is supposed to be in dragon blight here so technically we're like in a apocalypsex dragon blight uh version of northern and just supposed to be the apoptic again time right oh this is cool you can actually still hear the bubbles and stuff going that's spooky Can't do that while moving, okay? Let's go back over here. And let's go take a look on the back side of the entrance to the dungeon. Ah, oh, here we go. This is cool. So we got this whole town back here that's empty. And this is the entryway of time. I don't remember exactly what this... Uh, oh, here's a flight path. Normally that's supposed to be here. <laughs> I love the... Uh, the music that's in here, that's amazing. It's so creepy because it's like the, uh, 
the pub is alive, but it's so empty, you know? Oh, there's a mine down there. All right, we have we, we have to go see the mine, right? We got to go check it out. That's the rule. When you see a mine, you got to go see it. This is so cool, though. Man, love the statue. That they still have it here. There we go. Here's the edge of the world. We found it. Oh, we're actually in fatigue. Interesting. So you actually fatigue being here. That's weird. So that's it. That's like the cutoff line right there. Where they don't want you to actually be anymore. Do we have music on loop? I feel like there's no music. Alright, let's go check a take a look and see what's in the mine. They do have music for the mine. You know, it's so strange to me that they keep some of this music on for things you're never even supposed to see. Look, it's a fully, fully mine. It's a full mine. You can still see underground. You're never supposed to ever be in here unless you're actually in, you know, Northern itself, obviously. Nothing too special in here, but it's still cool to see that they kept this in here. Alright, let's go back out to the entrance. It's so amazing to me that how much they keep. So here goes the start. Um, this is where the world comes. I wonder if we're going to fatigue over here too. Yep, we're hitting fatigue. <laughs> so uh, That's so weird that they fatigue you out here. You know, I really want to go jump in this ocean because it's so dark. But at the same time, I don't want to like fall off the map. Oh, I think that's the last boss of the dungeon, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, because you have the end time. Murosan, yep. So we can actually get an up-close view of him out of bounds. That is so cool. He's normally in the Bronze Dragonshire, right? But he's looking... It looks like he's, like, ready to spawn in. Yeah, so this is probably where his spawn point is. In the dungeon. Um, and you're normally not supposed to see him until later. Actually, until the very end, right? That's cool. That's a cool look right there. I don't remember if... Inside of the dungeon. Oh, there's a whelp. That is so cool.
Oh, no way. Did they actually keep all of Dalaran in the background? All right, we got to go find out. We got to see if we can even get up to Dalaran. My poor mount, he keeps taking damage. So he, so that boss pre-spawns. So he's there just chilling. And I think he's actually there the whole time. But I don't know, maybe someone can correct me. I don't remember. Look at there's Dalaran in the in the distance. All right, we gotta go see if it's still actually there or not. Sorry guys, this is a long video, I know, but there's a lot to cover in here, and we're actually completely outside of the map now. So this is definitely one of the more easier maps to break out of. Now we gotta see how far we can go. The only problem is I don't think we can actually get up to Dalaran though. Sadly. I don't know how we would get up there unless we blew. Oh my gosh. They actually kept all of the uh forest back here too. Wow. Man, there's a lot to this map that they keep and all of Dalaran. This is so cool. Look at that. Okay, they even have the whole like spinning orbs around the trees and so basically give you almost like a lot of northern because look at they even got all of Dalaran up in the sky but there's no way we could reach up there obviously unless we flew this is a really cool shot to take in all right I know what you're all thinking. We have to fly down. Oh, I even see the uh, Ice Crown Citadel in the background. We'll have to check that out next. Wow, there's so much to explore here. This map is huge. And it's just amazing how much they keep of all of the uh, northern here. I mean, you're never, never, ever supposed to see this in the background. So I wonder what the point was. Oh, look at on our mini map, we're actually going through Dalaran right now. That's cool. Oh, okay, we gotta go check out this orb. I think normally there's supposed to be a river right here, right? Because it looks like a body of water would be here normally. That's cool. All right, now I'm curious to see how much they actually kept of Ice Crown Citadel. That's what I'm curious about. Whoa, that's freaky. Look at that down there. Oh, it's amazing. Okay, now here's the real question. Can we climb this hill? Sure we can with double jumps and bell rush. But it looks like it's letting us so far. All right. How can we get up here? 
Nope, that didn't work. Maybe this way? There we go, okay. Don't I don't know if we can get up there, but we could try. Ah, we almost made it. It's close. All right, we're going to go around here and try again. Because I think we can just get up the hill going around. We're just going to have to accept our defeat and do the long walk shame. Unless we can cut up through here. There we go. Ooh, my exploration is not doing well. Let's see here. Nope. Man, I really want to get up to Dalaran because I, I bet you anything they kept the whole city up there. The whole city's up there and... Uh, I wonder if like portals and stuff are there as well. Maybe, I don't know, who knows? I guess we'll never know unless we were able to fly up there. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's, now that's creepy looking. Look at that. All right, I think we can get up this way instead of having to go all the way around. Maybe not, okay. We're gonna have to take the uh, walk shame again. All right, we need the foul rush. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. So they do keep some of Ice Crown. Interesting. Oh, here's the flight path for the Horde. Normally where the Horde campment is. Ah. Oh, wow. They do keep the entrance to Ice Crown Citadel here. That's really cool. Oh, can we go in there? So cool. Oh no, it's not open, dang it. Actually, I don't think it's normally open anyways, right? Cause I think you gotta fly in and going through one of the side wings if I'm not mistaken. They're cool views though. Look, you can't even see the main map anymore. We're so far out of bounds. I can't even see Deathwing on top of the tower. Here's the Obsidian Dragonshire. Oh, no way. Can we go in there? I 
I don't remember. I see. I haven't done this dungeon in a long time, so I don't remember exactly what you can and can't do. Especially for. Uh, going, you know, certain stuff and going into certain stuff. All right, so it looks like they kept a lot of the other side of the map over here too. Let's go take a look. We don't die. Gosh. You know, they really do give up the vibe of the end time. Really interesting. I'm just curious to see how much they kept over on this side. With the things that you're never supposed to see. Wow, they actually kept the whole side of uh, over here as well. Goodness gracious. Oh, I thought that was water for a minute, but it just looks like snow. Man, this is cool. That goes really far in, too. Can we jump on top of here? Nice. There we go. Let's go explore out this way. Man, we are really outside the map again. Man, like, I know I keep saying this, but uh, it's just, a, it, it's amazing that Blizzard decides to keep so many assets of the map that you're just never supposed to see. You know, you, they would think that you would limit more stuff, but um, I understand that. Oh, look at that. That's a cool effect right there. You can see the water going down. Huh. <laughs> I just want to explore everywhere in here. Like, just keep running around and seeing every little thing. It's so cool. I'm curious to see if you can get on top of those waterfalls. I'm sure you can. Then I have to wrap back around, though. Or actually, if we go this way...
Well, everyone, I think that's going to wrap up the video. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe if you did. Um, there's just there's so much to see here. If you guys want to see the rest of it, you know, definitely come explore the end time dungeon. It's really cool to see all the uh, assets that are here um, that are supposed to be in Northern, but they're here in this dungeon. And, you know, they, they kept all the uh, stuff left over. And it's just cool to see that there's just things that you're not normally supposed to see that you do. And it's amazing that Blizzard keeps all these assets just to keep like a keep some life into all these maps. So anyways, guys, I hope to see you on the next video. Take care.